let's talk about how to avoid seasonal depression in the winter. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Shannon Galladay. Every week on Wednesday, I post new videos on wellness, business, and how to simplify your time. Go ahead and click subscribe and check the description below for all of my free resources. Before we jump into my five tips, I wanna say I'm not a licensed medical professional. These are tips I've used personally to help myself during the winter months, and I've coached hundreds of women and several men since December 2011 on their nutrition and fitness goals. These tips are great to use if you want to turn to something before medicine, but always turn to your medical professional if you need serious help. Tip number one, set a fitness goal that gets you so excited. Something I love to do is sign up for a 5K in the spring or summer. This is a great motivating goal because it keeps us going in the winter months. It's so easy to say, I'll start my fitness routine when it gets warmer, but don't give up in the winter. When you're moving your body, you'll feel so much better. You'll have more energy and you'll keep a more positive mind frame. There's just nothing like that feeling after you finished a great workout where you feel so accomplished and so energized for the day. Tip number two, create a self-care routine. Once you have that exciting fitness goal that you're working towards, decide which workouts you're gonna do. Are you gonna work out at home or at the gym with people or on your own? But create this fun, exciting self-care routine where you're working on your fitness, your nutrition, your relaxation, you have a good sleep. Um, the more you take care of yourself, the better you will be able to avoid that seasonal depression because you'll be in the the best mind frame and your body will feel good and you'll be able to stay on top of it. Tip number three, look at your goals, not at the news. When you wake up first thing in the morning, have your goals right there ready so that you are focused on where you're going and not focused on the news and the distractions. The news constantly is filled with bad news, negativity, and the worst case scenario. But when we're focused on our goals, then we have control over our day, over our outlook of where we're going, and you'll feel more positive and you'll have more energy. Tip number four is connect with motivated people. Find others around that have goals. Um, you want to avoid people that are complaining, that aren't setting goals, that are giving excuses and saying why they can't do it. You want to find people who are setting goals, who are making progress, and who are feeling excited about life. When you're connected with those type of people, you will um, feel their energy. They say we become like the top five people we spend spend our time with. So choose your people wisely. You want to find people that want, are like you want to become. Tip number five is do something fun daily. It's so easy to go from one thing to the next, especially as adults. We're going to work, we're taking our kids somewhere, we're busy with our family, we're making dinner, we're cleaning, we're just rushing from one thing to the next. We forget to smile, we forget to laugh, we forget to truly enjoy the day. So taking time to doing something fun daily. It can be as small as dancing in your kitchen or playing your favorite song and blasting it or coming by the lake and enjoying some sunshine. Or it can be big like going and doing a winter sport, going snow skiing, going snowshoeing, cross country skiing, going on a winter hike. There's so many options that we can do to add some more fun in our lives daily. You'll be surprised when you're adding fun daily how much more you'll smile and you'll laugh and you'll feel more positive and optimistic. I understand how challenging it can be to avoid seasonal depression, especially in the winter and especially when you live in a place that's freezing. I'm here in Utah live, it's still snowing in April and it's easy to get in a bad headspace, especially if we don't go outside much and it's dark all the time, it's really hard to stay in a good headspace. And so I hope these tips are helpful to help you to um, make it a little bit better. And like I say, if you are still experiencing challenges, of course, go to your medical professional, but these are some good tips to get started with. And go ahead and click below for my free resources and click subscribe so that you don't miss any videos on Wednesdays. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.